All right, you guys, back with another Leonardo.ai video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create consistent characters in Leonardo.ai. I've previously covered this topic. If you want to watch that video, click the link in the description. Visit my playlist section where I've covered everything from basics to advanced techniques in Leonardo.ai. Let's get into the video without wasting any time. Visit Leonardo.ai and go to the community section. Right here, select an image that you want to remix in order to create some consistent characters. I'm selecting this image. Click on Remix. Now, we are going to use a very effective way to remix and create some consistent characters. For that, we are going to use Image Prompt. Now, just select a character face that you want to copy on the current remixed image. I have selected this character face. I want to copy this face on the current image that I'm going to remix. So I've double clicked on this and selected it and imported it in this section right here. Now increase the image weight scale so that the face is exactly copied onto the remixed image. Now just click on generate and let's see what kind of an image do we get. This was the image that I generated so that I could use the face of the image. So I imported this image right here and then this is the final result. As you can see, the face of this character is similar to this character and the surroundings are completely different. Even the angles are different. And these are some more results. As you can see, the face is pretty much similar to the main character. This time I've selected this random image. So I'm going to click on remix and then I'm going to name the woman in order to make the face similar. In order to select a unique name, visit the website behindthename.com and then from right here, just select any name that you want. I want an Irish name. So I'm going to click on Irish names and then go to female, feminine, Irish and then just copy one name from right here. So this is the type of image that I got. Now we can try to change the angles and the surroundings of the character. Instead of sitting on a table, I've written standing in a pub. And then let's click on generate and see how exact the images are. As you can see, because of giving the name to the character, the face of the character is very similar. Right here. Now, let's try changing the clothes of the character. Instead of black red vintage clothing, I've written black blue vintage clothing. And instead of standing in a pub, let's write standing in London street. Now let's click on generate. As you can see, this is the type of face consistency you can expect after giving the name to a character. The face is really very similar in all the images. Now let's try giving the character some other surroundings. As you can see, this is one way you can give your characters consistency and make them look similar. As you can see, all the faces in this scene are similar to each other. Now let's do this with some other character. Before we move forward, let's try blending in the name with the image prompt. So let's choose this image to be as the prompt and then set the image weight to around 75 and the guidance scale to be around 14 or 13 and let's see what kind of an image comes out. So the results are really interesting. It took some elements from the image and some elements from the prompt. So elements like clothes, hair, it took from this image right here. And then elements like tattoos and the color scheme and where the character is standing were taken from the prompt. And the face surprisingly is a bit similar to the previous images. So if you want a particular angle in your images or particular clothes, you can just paste an image right here 
Let's try uploading another image and test it out once again. This time I'm going to take this image as my reference and let's see what kind of a different image do we get. Now let's click on generate. As you can see right here, it took the pose of the character from this image and rest of the elements are from the prompt itself. The face is still similar. So this is one way you can give your images some life by using image prompt and a name to your character and you'll get some amazing results. This is the next image that I want to remix next. So let's click on the image and click on remix and I've copied a name from behind the name. Let's go back and paste the name. So full body portrait of a photorealistic beautiful woman named this is a Ukrainian name and now let's increase the guidance scale a bit. Let's take the guidance scale to 9. Switch on the negative prompts and click on generate. This is the character that it generated. Now instead of a portrait, I've written full body shot of photorealistic beautiful woman named this standing in the streets of Europe. And as you can see, it is generating consistent characters. Now let's try using the image prompt in order to give it a pose. So maybe I will use this image so that I can give this character this pose. So I will increase the image weight to around 8 and then I will increase the guidance scale to around 14 or 15. And let's see how much does the image prompt affect this main prompt. This was the result that I got from the previous image. Then I uploaded this image right here so that I can get this kind of a pose of my image. So I uploaded this image and without changing the prompt, I just changed the guidance scale and the image weight a bit. And I got these results. As you can see, this image right here, the face of the image is similar to the previous characters, but it has incorporated this pose in the image. So you need to play around with different settings, guidance scales and image weight in order to get your desired result. Now let's try one more image. So let's go back to this section and upload this image and see what kind of a result does it generate. Because this image is a bit different. I'm just curious. So let's delete this image and click on generate. So this is the result of the images. One thing I need to look into is that whenever I use this image prompt, it always cuts out the face. So maybe I need to incorporate some face outside frame or out of frame and then click on generate and see what kind of a result does it get. Now if we look at the image, the face is similar as I gave the name to the character and the top matches the image prompt image. The top of the character matches the image that I uploaded. The lower of the character matches the original prompt as you can see this is the original image and this is the lower of the image and big burst, huge burst. So that also matches all the other characters. And now I changed a few things, a few settings in the prompt like face outside frame and out of the frame. Let's see does it correct the image or not. So this is one thing that may trouble you to experiment with the guidance scale and the image weight and you may be able to solve it. This was it for the video. If you learned something new in this video and like the video, subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with some more AI related content in my next video.